Welcome to the video. Today we're talking about the Geo Corona, Earth's outermost atmospheric layer. While on the moon, Apollo 16 astronauts captured images of the Geo Corona, which is primarily composed of hydrogen atoms that are remnants of Earth's primordial atmosphere. These hydrogen atoms interact with solar radiation, producing the Lyman Alpha emission observed as the Geo Corona's glow. While the Geo Corona is primarily composed of neutral hydrogen atoms, it can also contain trace amounts of other neutral atoms and molecules, such as helium, oxygen, and nitrogen. The Geo Corona shares its lower boundary with the thermosphere, extending up to 100 Earth radii or more, which is around three times the distance to the moon, depending on factors like solar activity. The moon's passage through the Geo Corona can affect the lunar surface's brightness. The Geo Corona structure can be asymmetrical due to various factors, such as Earth's magnetic field, solar wind, and Earth's orientation relative to the sun. This asymmetry can lead to differences in the Geo Corona's density and brightness across different regions. The Geo Corona is denser and more concentrated around the magnetic poles due to the effect of Earth's magnetic field on the distribution of neutral hydrogen. During periods of high solar activity, the increased solar radiation can cause the Geo Corona to expand with a higher density and brightness, while lower solar activity can lead to contraction, lower density, and brightness. The Geo Corona can expand and contract in response to changes in solar activity, leading to variations in density and brightness. It interacts with solar wind, which can ionize some hydrogen atoms, forming plasma clouds carried away by the solar wind. The Geo Corona can also exhibit seasonal and diurnal variations in density and distribution due to changes in solar radiation levels and Earth's position relative to the Sun. The primary method of observing the Geo Corona is through the detection of Lyman Alpha emissions produced when solar ultraviolet light scatters neutral hydrogen atoms in the Geo Corona. Other emissions, such as hydroxyl emissions, can also be observed when solar ultraviolet light interacts with water molecules. Charge exchange is a key process in the Geo Corona, involving neutral hydrogen atoms capturing electrons from solar wind ions, producing energetic neutral atoms. These newly created atoms are no longer influenced by Earth's magnetic field or the solar wind's magnetic field, as they are neutral particles, and they move in straight lines away from their point of origin. The Geo Corona's temperature increases with altitude, reaching thousands of degrees Kelvin at higher altitudes. The temperature in the exosphere is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the gas particles, not heat. Thank you for watching.